This interview with Parashakti was originally done for the Baba documentary titled At the Threshold of a New Era. There is a link to it at the end of this video in the description section. It was just after the emergency I was kind of lucky because the Margis were like uh, all under arrest during the emergency and they were just putting their lives back in order and the, the ones abroad they were like just getting over the shock that the thing, and I was Johnny on the spot, so <laughs> I was able to get out to the jail. And they used to, in those days, have 20 minute interviews with the prisoners. So um, I began this thing of meeting him and getting my 20 minutes. And gradually the numbers increased so that so many Margis were coming and they used to go in groups and just do Sastang Pranam and and I tell him, no way, Jose, you know, I'm not going to go for two seconds and meet Baba and go out. I have a, I have a right. I've been meeting 20 minutes. I get my 20 minutes. <laughs> so I used to go alone and <laughs> sit with Baba for 20 minutes. And uh, he was so awesome. Um, I didn't trust the superintendent will tell me the truth. So I thought, I got to trick this guy. So um, I went to him and I said, like, there's got to be somebody like sneaking food into him or something like that. And he told me, no, you've seen the security. Literally, there were six gates you had to go to get to him. Uh, they were locked. They had guards. There was police in the three rooms which Baba was in. The two rooms had police in them all the time. So I asked him, like, OK, then how is it possible that he's living on only curd water, you know, just uh, yogurt water? And he was like, I don't know. What I think I need to convey is what they did to him in that jail. It, it was actually, I don't know, somebody said it was a condemned cell for the person on death row. I'm not really sure, but um, I remember you would go through two gates. There were actually six gates totally to get to his room. But um, the two main gates outside, and then I remember there was like a little courtyard that you would go through and it was barren it, it was probably his exercise area it was barren it was just dirt you know and then you would you would go to the end and there was a door and then you would come back again and then you would go into his room his room had only a curtain there was no door and that means no privacy you know and I don't remember what was behind. <laughs> Bawe was sitting on a choki, on a on a cot, and a wooden cot, and there was either a, it was a, a suitcase or it was a trunk in the corner there, because I remember. Um, and the room was like just a little larger than a bathroom. It was very small, and dingy. It was um, sometimes in India they have bricks missing from the top where the air can come through and light can come didn't even have that it was pitch dark there was not an ounce of light the walls were crumbly it was it was dreadful the bed was wobbly you know uh, once it actually I heard it crashed I don't know but I didn't see it but um, it was a subhuman condition to keep anybody in no fan it was an oven, an oven in the summers. The temperatures here go like way over 40 degrees, 40, 42 degrees. It can go up. I don't know in those days in, in Patna what was the temperatures, but it would, it would go up in Delhi to 45, which is around 117 degrees. And I remember sweating to death and sitting in ba with Bawa, sweating to death, and in winter, I was with this, and I was shivering. I was freezing cold because it's very close to the Himalayas region. One thing I noticed, which I found very astonishing to me, is these sannyasis, like today they're very happy and they're very, you know, and tomorrow they're miserable and depressed. <laughs> but Baba never changed. Baba was always smiling, like the world was a big joke, you know? And, uh, and he was really, really humorous. He, he was a never-ending source of humor.